Chiron Sukhasana, easy seat, if that's a comfortable place to sit. If you like sitting in some other way, go ahead and find a seat that allows you to just sit up nice and tall. <clears throat> and as you start to find your way into your comfortable seat, just take a second to just make sure that your clothes feel they're comfortable, your hair feels like it's comfortable, your mat or the floor underneath you feels comfortable. And then maybe let your eyes close down or just soften your gaze. Take a nice settling breath. And then just notice if there's anything that needs to be readjusted, take a second to do that. And then before we get into moving our body, just take a moment here to assess and notice if in this still position without having done too much effort, if there's any parts of your body that are calling attention to them or finding a hard time settling in, just take a moment to notice and acknowledge those places. And then set an intention here to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then if it feels available, let one hand touch down to the ground and one place one hand on your heart. So we're just going to think of this as a little bit of a grounding or, or centering. So feeling your hand connected to the ground or the floor, just get an idea of that solidness, that solid foundation beneath you. And then if you can, imagine drawing that solid foundation all the way up to your heart. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Feel that solid floor beneath you. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. One more breath here. And then that hand that's touching the floor, bring that hand, stack it right on top of the hand that's on the heart. And we're going to take three humming breaths to start our practice. So with those hands stacked on top of your heart, take a nice, generous inhale. And as you exhale, just let out a nice low hum. Mm. Inhale a nice full breath, fill your lungs up. Exhale, a nice low hum. Inhale, one more nice full breath. Exhale, a nice low hum. And then once you've completed your breath, keeping your hands stacked on top of your heart, as you inhale, gently lift your chin up to the sky. And as you exhale, tuck your chin down towards your chest. See if you can keep your shoulders down. Inhale as you lift your chin up. Exhale as you tuck your chin down. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, lift your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin down. We're gonna release our hands behind the back. So with nice tall fingers, hugging the shoulder blades in towards each other. And then inhale, lift your chin up to the sky. And then we're gonna stay here for three cycles of breath. So hopefully you're feeling a nice gentle stretch through the neck, through the throat, maybe a little opening through the chest and the collarbones. Take a moment to come to your breath here and maybe you'll just notice the movement of breath in your collarbones and your chest. One more breath. 
And then when you're ready, releasing hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, we're gonna flip the palms, but press the palms down towards the ground. And then as you press the palms down towards the ground, take a little rounding of the upper back body. So think belly in, round the shoulders, tuck chin to chest, and then take three nice big breaths here. Awesome, and then when you're ready, lift up to a nice neutral spine, unlace your fingers, left hand's gonna touch the ground, right hand's gonna reach up, take a nice gentle side bend, and then we're gonna start to move this in a fluid way, moving gently side to side. So let the other hand touch down, open into that side bend, and just take a few times, go at a pace that works good for you, but try to keep your sits bones nice and heavy on the ground. So keeping a nice solid foundation, legs aren't moving too much, butt is nice and firm on your mat. Awesome, and then the next time your left hand touches down, right hand reaches up, stay here, take that side bend. And then we're gonna take that top hand round and reach forward. Like you're reaching for something across the room about a 45 degree angle. And what we're shooting for is to find a little sensation in that low back side body. So right around that, that curve of your side body where the side body meets the low back. So reach through the fingertips. See if you can find a little sensation there. Take one more breath and then pull that top thumb back, gaze up towards the ceiling, take one good breath here. And then we're gonna release and take that side bend over to the other side. So right hand touches down, left hand reaches up. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then take that top hand round and reach forward like you're reaching for something across the room and see if you can just reach through the fingers so much that you find that sensation down in that low, low back side body area. Lovely, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, lift up nice and slow. And we're gonna lean back into the sits bones, swing the legs out, super generous bend in the knees. And we're just gonna start by small windshield wipers. So with the feet about shoulder distance apart, heels semi-close to the butt, drop your knees gently side to side. And here you might feel a little bit more action in your quads, just massaging out, or excuse me, <laughs> massaging out your glutes. And then we're gonna take it a little bit further. So you're gonna roll to one side, rolling onto the side of your glutes and then roll to the other side. And just take a few times moving gently side to side and then notice here, how do your hips feel? How do your knees feel? And how is your low back feeling this morning? <clears throat> Great, take one more time each side and then we're gonna go just a little bit further with that. So as you swing to one side, swing your legs like you're going to your deer pose, but then rotate, take a little twist, take a nice big breath and then release, and then we're gonna swing all that to the other side. So swing your legs out, finding that kind of zigzag seat or that 90-90, and then twist to the other side. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release. We're gonna take that back over to the other side. So swing your legs out, find that 90-90, and then check in for a moment. So we're gonna lift up onto the knees. So if your knees don't appreciate that situation, you might choose to just press into the palm and lift your heart. But if it feels comfortable to do so, you're gonna sweep everything up. Lift your butt up away from the ground. So knees on the ground, lifting up, and then see if you can just find a little reach and sensation right through where your front pocket would be. Reach up through that top hand, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Lovely, and then release everything back down. We're gonna swing it all over to the other side. So sit back into your sits bones, swing your legs around, find your zigzag seat first, and then check in. One side might feel totally different than the other. So if your knees get a little mischievous on one side, just make sure you're mindful of it. If it feels good to do so, swing your arm up, lift your hips, reach through the fingertips, hopefully finding maybe a little sensation right through that front pocket area. Take a nice big breath and then release it nice and slow. We're gonna swing both legs into Baddha Konasana or toddler's pose or butterfly position. So soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right, and then whatever variation of your diamond shape works good for you. Take a nice big breath, lift your chest, and as you exhale, lean forward just slightly. Inhale and lift right back up. Exhale, lean your heart forward just slightly. Inhale and come back up. One more just like that. Exhale, lean your heart forward just slightly. Inhale to come back up and then we're gonna push our hands into our knees, but we're gonna push the knees up into the hands. So rather than trying to push your knees down, you're trying to push your knees up and hands are offering just a little resistance. We're gonna push the knees up into the hands, holding that upward pushing position for five, four, three, two, one. And then relax the inner thigh muscles, catch hold of your toes, lean your heart forward just slightly, take one good breath. 
and then come up nice and slow, help your knees come together and spin it around into a tabletop position or come onto all fours. <clears throat> knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Take a second to get yourself situated. Double stack your mat if you need to so your knees feel super happy. And then once you've found your way here, we're gonna move right into cat cow breath. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale and round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round. Beautiful, one more cycle of breath. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round. Nice, and then inhale, drop your belly, curl your toes under, keep your belly dropped, keep the toes curled under, nod your head up and down about three times. And then head comes to a neutral position, pull your abdominal muscles in, keep the toes curled under, pull your butt back to your heels, get a little stretch to the toes, to the bottoms of the feet. If it feels comfortable to do so, wiggle your hips a little side to side. One more wiggle of the hips side to side, and then bring yourself back up to tabletop position, release your toes, move right into puppy pose, hands to the top edge of your mat, Keep your hips fairly in line with your knees. Drop your chest and forehead down. Three nice big breaths here. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, lifting your forehead away from your mat, lift your chest slightly, and now we're gonna slide the elbows in. So elbows are gonna come in line with the shoulders, and then we're just practicing this movement here. So you're gonna keep your elbows fairly in line with the shoulders, but you might need to widen them. So you'll play around with what feels appropriate to your body. We're gonna keep the butt way up in the air, just like it is, and then glide the heart forward just slightly, like you're trying to scoop your heart up and then pull it back. So your hips come back in line with your heels. And then do that again, glide your heart forward, just lift your chest slightly and then pull it back. Nice, one more time, just like that. Glide your heart forward just slightly and then pull it back, pull it all the way back, butt back to the heels, release your arms nice and long, and then let your hands just kind of slide along your mat, keeping that nice long reach between your arms, take a nice big breath in, slow breath out, inhale, come up to a tabletop position, curl your toes under, exhale, lift up to downward facing dog, take a pedal or two of the legs just to bring a little length into the backs of the legs, and then when you're ready, we're going to pick up the heels, lower the knees, come back to your tabletop position, keep the toes curled under, slide your right leg back, toes curled under, take three rocks forward and back. <clears throat> Beautiful, slide that foot in and switch to the other side, left toes curled under, slide the foot back, take three good rocks forward and back. Nice, slide that foot in, both toes curled under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a folded rag doll at the top of your mat. So feet are gonna be about hip or shoulder distance apart, super generous bend in the knees, make some space for your belly and your chest and then let everything dangle nice and heavy here. Arms are nice and heavy, head is nice and heavy. If it feels good and comfortable in your body, catch hold of your elbows and then let your elbows get nice and heavy. And then see if you can just come back to your breath awareness here. Take a nice, generous inhale. Fill your lungs up and feel that nice little buoyant lift that comes with that inhale. And then as you exhale, feel your torso soften back down. One more breath in this dangle position. And then as we inhale, we're just gonna lift over to the right. So keep the hold onto your elbows. Inhale, we're just lifting over to the right, but we're not gonna do that full up and overhead. So just a little light turn to the right and then bend your knees, drop back down to the ground. And we're gonna take that over to the left. Inhale, pick it up over to the left, just a little rotation of the torso and then exhale back down to the ground. Now take it back over to the right. Inhale, lift, turning slightly to the right, beautiful. Exhale, come back down to the ground. Take it over to the left, inhale, just a little rotation of the torso. Exhale, bring it back down. One more time each side, inhale, come over to the right. Exhale to bring it back down. Inhale over to the left. Exhale to bring it back down. And then release your hold of your elbows, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position. 
roll your shoulders up to your ears around down and back and then we're going to take three more rolls of the shoulders just to kind of soothe that out and then keep your left shoulder nice and stationary just roll your right shoulder so keep your left shoulder stable and then reverse directions with that right shoulder, rolling in the other direction but keeping the left shoulder stable Nice, and then let your right shoulder stay nice and stable. Move your left shoulder, rolling in circles, go in one direction. Keep your right shoulder stable. Take that left shoulder and go in the other direction. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, we're gonna take our arms right across the chest into our I Dream of Genie arms. So get that nice little square across the chest, catch your elbows, keep your feet anchored, legs anchored, hips facing forward. Take your elbows and just pull them across the midline of the body. So everything else is gonna stay as stationary as it can. Lovely, take one more time each side or even yourself out. And then release your hold from your elbows. Let your hands float down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees a lot. Pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to a standing position. Roll your shoulders up to your ears around, down and back. And we'll do that again. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up strong from your navel center, roll your shoulders down and back. One more time here, inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders up to your ears, around down and back. Inhale, reach up and grab that beach ball above your head. Exhale, sink into a little chair. So butt back, bend your knees. Beautiful, inhale to rise up. And now we're gonna take it into a little bit of a light twist. So as you exhale, sink down, left hand over to the right, right hand is just gonna reach behind you. Inhale, bring your arms back up and overhead. Exhale, take that light twisted version to the other side. Beautiful, inhale, reach up, grab that beach ball. And now we're gonna take it a little bit further, but for proportions, it might not always work to bring elbow to knee. So you're gonna choose a variation that works good for you. You might choose that lighter twisted version or you might choose the elbow. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, if you like, prayer hands together, elbow across, tap the outside of the knee. Inhale, bring it back up and overhead. Exhale, twist to the other side. And then you choose the version that feels the best in your body. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to reach up, exhale, twist to the left. Beautiful, one more time each side. Inhale, reach up, exhale and twist. Inhale, reach up, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, we're gonna fold everything down to the ground. Knees bent or straight, whatever feels better to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come to tabletop position, step the right leg out, gate pose. So we're gonna step the right leg out off the side of the mat, bring your hands to your hips, come to a high kneel. Right hand to the thigh, left hand reaches up alongside your ear, take a gentle side bend. Beautiful, lift up right away, hands come to that tabletop position, slide that right leg in, switching over to the other side, left leg out, hands to the hips, come to that high kneel position. Left hand on the outside leg, right hand reaches up, lean over to the left. Beautiful, release both hands down to the ground, slide that left leg in, curl the toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. We're gonna interlace the fingers, push the palms down, glide the shoulders down, then keeping that position with the shoulders, bring the palms in front of the heart, but palms pressing forward. And then if you like, widen your elbows just a little bit to make some space, lift up and overhead. And once you've created that space for the shoulder blades, press your palms upward towards the ceiling, side bend one way. Come back to center, side bend the other way. 
come back to center, unlace your fingers, float your hands down, roll your shoulders down and back. Beautiful, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right leg back, low lunge, bring the knee down, back toes tucked or released, totally up to you. We're gonna take three half splits here. So pull the hips back, peel the front toes up, and then rock yourself forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Pull the hips back. Rock yourself forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Beautiful, one more just like that. Pull the hips back. Rock yourself forward, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. Right hand on the ground, left hand reaches for a little twist. One big breath. And then release that hand back down to the ground. Plant the palms, step back to plank. Bringing the knees down, rotate your eyes of your elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale to lower down. Press your way up to a tabletop, curl your toes under. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, the back toes can be tucked or released, whatever feels the most comfortable to you. And then take it into your half splits. Rock yourself back, peel the front toes up. And then rock yourself forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Rock yourself back. And then bring it forward. One more time, just like that. Rock yourself back, bring it forward, curl the back toes under, pick the back knee up. Left, leg is, left hand is gonna stay on the ground, right hand reaches up to the sky, one big breath. And then right away, bring that hand down, plant the palms, step back to plank, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control. One cobra here, inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale and lower down. Push your way up to a tabletop position. Curl your toes under. Exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Hands down at your sides. Inhale, reach up, grab that imaginary beach ball. We're gonna take one twist chair each side. So exhale, sink into your chair, twist to one side. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, twist the other side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dogs. Pick up the heels, lower the knees, pull your butt back towards your heels like you're coming to child's pose, but with the toes curled under. Now from here, drop your elbows down, scoop your heart forward as you slide your legs back, come up into your cobra. Beautiful, exhale up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Back to the double twisted chair. So inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, sink into your chair, twist to one side. Inhale, arms reach up and overhead. Exhale and twist the other way. Inhale, reach up and overhead. Exhale, take it into your forward fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to down dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, keep the toes curled under, pull your butt back towards your heels like you're coming to your child's pose. And then from here, drop your elbows down, scoop your heart forward, slide your legs back, lift up into your cobra. Beautiful, exhale up to down dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. 
Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. We're gonna stay in our folded position here. If it's available, you're gonna take your peace fingers, grab hold of your big toes. And with that little toe hold, you're just gonna let your elbows bend a little bit so you can gently draw yourself into a slightly deeper fold. Make sure it feels comfortable. No zinging up into the glutes. Take one more breath. Awesome. And then if you're holding onto your toes, go ahead and release them. We're going to roll down into our little ball of yarn. So bend your knees, pick up your heels, roll your way down, and then nice and easy. Set your butt down, come back to your cobbler's pose or that butterfly position. So set your butt down, soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. And then this time you're going to take a fold that goes to your edge and we're going to hold it for three cycles of breath. So make some space for yourself. Lean your heart forward just to the point where you feel good sensation. You might feel inner thigh, groin, outer edges of the hip, but we want to make sure there's no zinging in the knees and no shooting pain in the low back. Find your edge. And then once you're there, invite a little bit of softness in. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, lift up through the crown of your head, let your chest follow. We're gonna catch hold of the outsides of the thighs, help the knees come together, curl the tailbone under, roll your way down with control, nice and slow the whole way down. Once you found your way down to the ground, just give yourself a second, get everything situated, make sure you feel comfortable on your mat. And then once you feel like you're there, we're gonna take it right into a figure four. So right leg across the left, Keep a light firmness in that right foot, hands free to start. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale and lower it back down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. We're gonna lift up, thread the hands through. So find the handhold that works best for you. Draw it in, keep your right foot active and flexed. Take a nice deep breath in, slow breath out. Beautiful, and then we're gonna release our handhold from the back of the left thigh. Slide your right leg across your left like you're crossing your legs in a chair, so now your knees are stacked, and then re-grab. So you might choose to grab the tops of your shins or the tops of the feet, just whatever handhold works better for you there. And then pull the toes slightly away from each other, draw your knees into your chest. And then soften that up just a little bit, readjust anything that you need to. And then this time, as you draw your knees into your chest, turn your head to the right. Release a little bit, head turns back to a neutral position and then draw your knees and turn your head to the left. Beautiful, release it just a little bit and then release your handhold, unwind your legs, set them down, pause for a moment and notice and then set up for your figure four to the other side. Left leg across the right, keep a little bit of a flex in that left foot, hands free to start. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale to lower your right foot back down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower, and then this time we're gonna thread through. So if it feels comfortable to do so, you'll lift your right leg up. Find a handhold, maybe the back of the thigh or the top of the shin. Draw the legs in, but keep a little bit of a firmness in that left foot. Beautiful, one more breath. And then release your handhold, slide the left leg across the right like you're crossing your legs in a chair, knees stacked. Regrab either the shins or the tops of the feet, whatever hold works better for you. Pull the toes gently away from each other. Pull the knees into your chest. Release slightly. And then as you pull the knees in, turn your head to the left. Release slightly. And then as you pull the knees back in, turn your head to the right. Release slightly, turn your head back to center. Release your handhold, unwind your legs, float your feet down to the ground. Pause for a moment, take a breath and move right into supine twist from here. So right knee is gonna pull up into the chest, left leg is gonna slide nice and long, take that right knee over to the left, over and across the body, let your right arm open out nice and wide, take a nice big inhale, nice slow exhale, 
pull that knee back into the chest, bring your left knee in to meet. So both knees hug into the chest, give a light little squeeze, hold on to your left knee, let your right leg go nice and long, supine twist to the other side. So take that left knee over to the right, let your left arm open wide, head turns to the left if that feels good. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, pull the left knee into your chest, right knee is gonna come in to meet, give a little light squeeze. And then we're gonna set the left foot down, but right leg up to the sky. So think a single leg, leg up the wall. And then once you've got your right leg up to the sky, we're gonna give that right leg a nice, good, gentle shake. Let your foot be kind of loose, let your ankle be kind of loose as much as you can. Let the muscle tissue be kind of loose. One more breath here, taking a nice good shake of that leg. And then when you're ready, we're gonna switch. So float your right foot down, float your left foot up. Once that right foot touches down to the ground, start to find a nice gentle shake in that left leg. Again, we wanna let the ankle be fairly loose, let the muscle tissue be as loose as you can. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, float that foot back down to the ground, toe heel your feet to the outer edges of your mat, take a couple of gentle windshield wipers here just to kind of bring some fluid back into the hips and soothe out the low back. And then check in, notice how everything's feeling and then set yourself up for your Shavasana. So if you're in a cold space, maybe throw your socks back on, your sweater back on or get your blanket ready for your, for your, for your cozy time. And then when you feel like you've got yourself nice and cozy and ready to go, we're gonna finish with three humming breaths. So get yourself into a position that feels right. You might choose constructive rest. You might choose that reclined cobbler's pose. You might choose that more traditional shape, whatever feels really comfortable to your body. Cool, and then once you've found your way there, one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart, take a gentle inhale. Nice slow exhale. Inhale a nice full breath, fill your lungs up. And then exhale a nice low hum. Mm -hmm. Inhale a nice full breath. Exhale a nice low hum. Mm -hmm. One more breath here. Inhale a nice full breath. Exhale a nice low hum. Mm -hmm. And then once you've completed that last humming breath, just let your hands release and come to wherever is the most comfortable. You could always keep them there if that feels like a nice place to be, but any place that feels comfortable and then just allow your body a moment to find that nice comfortable position, work out all your little wiggles. And then just find a stillness that makes sense in your body. Eyes can be closed or just soften your gaze.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Invite just a little bit of gentle movement into your fingers and your toes. And then as you start to deepen your breath slightly, maybe gently turn your head side to side. Come out of your Shavasana nice and slow this morning. Give it a lot of time. Gently moving the fingers, gently moving your feet. Turning your head side to side. And then if it feels good, invite some gentle movement into your ankles, into your wrists. Maybe move your knees a little bit. Maybe move your elbows a little bit. Wiggle your ribs, wiggle your hips just a little bit. And then if all is feeling really nice, take a big good morning stretch. Stretch your arms up and overhead. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Take a nice deep breath. But we're going to stay nice and low here. As you release that good morning stretch, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Give it a light little squeeze. And then we're going to release and switch. So pull the left knee into your chest. Extend your right leg nice and long. Give it a little squeeze. Pull both knees into your chest. Give a light little squeeze. And then just a little gentle rock side to side. Just to kind of offer up a little soothing to the low back and come out of the Shavasana without any stiffness. So just make sure it's feeling good here. And then when you feel ready, start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position. So you might choose to roll to one side, rock and roll up, anything that gets you there, but make sure it feels nice. Great. And then once you've found your way up to that comfortable seated position, just make sure you feel like you're sitting up nice and tall with your head, your heart, and your hips all stacked on top of each other. Soften your shoulders down. Stack both hands right on top of your heart. Keep a little bit of a trap of the skin or a connective tissue underneath your hands. Inhale and gently lift your chin up. Exhale and tuck your chin down. Inhale and lift your chin up. Exhale and tuck your chin down. One more just like that. Inhale, lift your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin down, stay here, soften your shoulders, soften your grip or your handhold on your heart so let your elbows be soft, let your hands be soft, soften through your jaw, soften through your cheekbones, soften the space between your eyes. Take a gentle inhale, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body and for all of your hard work. Take another nice, big, generous inhale, breathing in love and gratitude for your friends, for your family, for your pets. And then just take one more nice, big, generous inhale, breathing in love and gratitude for the ones that it's hardest to find that love and gratitude for. And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Saturday.